You wake up in the middle of the night to a phone buzz. You know what time it is, you ask sleepily. But then, you sit up in a jolt. Get your stuff and go outside. They'll come fetch you in 10 minutes, says a male voice on the other end. You step out of your house and watch as a small helicopter descends on your lawn. You get inside and meet a scientist there. She's a specialist in archaeology and paleontology. As the helicopter takes off, she tells you that something terrible happened on one of the islands in South America, and you're flying directly there, right now. The whole operation is secret, so you're asked to give up your mobile phone. The helicopter flies far beyond the night city and lands at the airport. From there, you transfer to a plane and fly to the coast of South America. You land on a small island, and a guide ushers you to a jeep waiting nearby. For several hours, you and other scientists drive through the hot jungle. The road ends, and you continue your journey along a narrow path. You notice that the further you go, the quieter it gets. The birds don't sing, not even the leaves on the trees rustle. The jungle finally ends, and you find yourself on the coast. There are many tents with scientific equipment, people, and cars. Several people in black suits lead you toward some fallen trees. You end up in the middle of a large trench that leads to the ocean. The trench begins in the forest, right at the fallen trees. Judging by its size, a train could have passed here. But the truth is much scarier. After some research, you tell people the creature that left such a trace became extinct about 60 million years ago. The creature that uprooted so many trees is the largest snake that ever lived on Earth. You and the others must find out how this reptile managed to survive and where it is now. Titanoboa usually lived in tropical forests near swamps. Apparently, the island is its home, but now something has forced the snake to crawl away into the ocean. You carefully examine the trench, then the fallen trees, and declare the snake was not alone. It was fighting something as big as itself. Everyone looks at you in shock. And the next moment, a deafening roar comes from the water, breaking the ocean's surface like a monstrous dolphin. A Mosasaurus emerges from the deep. A huge reptile that lived from 145 to 65 million years ago in almost all waters of the world. It looks a lot like a crocodile, has smooth, dark scales, a fin at the end of its tail, and flippers instead of legs. It measures 55 feet long, which is about the size of a five-story building, and weighs like half a subway car. And this huge dinosaur is coursing the waters near the shore right now, in front of you. With its large fins, it creates waves that wash away several tents on the shore. People on the island scatter away in all directions. Several ships and yachts are capsized. People on lifeboats are hurrying to the shore. Mosasaurus was one of the most formidable predators, not only in the sea, but also on land during the Cretaceous period. No creature dared to attack this monster, so their population spread all over the world. It wasn't used to feeling like prey, but now it seems the dinosaur has met a worthy opponent. The Mosasaurus dives back into the water as if running away from something. A few hundred feet away, you notice a long, smooth body of the Titanoboa. It's stretched out to full length and is swimming after the Mosasaurus. The snake is 42 feet long. This is one and a half times more than a rail car. The biggest snake on the planet comes to grips with the scariest underwater dinosaur, and you're standing witness. The Titanoboa wraps itself around the sea predator and drags it to the shore. With its flippers and fins adapted to the sea, the great dino will be at a disadvantage on land, but it has lungs, not gills. It needs air to breathe, so the fight continues. Both the snake and the lizard end up on the shore. You're watching them from behind the trees nearby. The snake squeezes its opponent hard and is winning, but the Mosasaurus manages to push the Titanoboa's head to the sand with its flipper. The snake lets the enemy go, and the Mosasaurus crawls back into the water because it's faster and more agile there than the snake. The Titanoboa slithers after its rival. The fight goes on underwater. The Mosasaurus manages to swim away from the shore and hide among the reefs and algae. Thanks to its dark scales, it's almost invisible there. The snake swims past, and the Mosasaurus jumps it from behind. Its powerful jaws are opening wide like a snake's. It clings to the opponent. The Titanoboa immediately reacts and wraps itself around the dinosaur. 
it bites the fin tail with its giant fangs. The two colossal animals are in a clinch now and don't know what to do next. The compressive force of the snake's grip is like the weight of the entire Brooklyn Bridge pressed onto a passenger car. The Mosasaurus is trapped and it starts kicking and swinging its flippers. It begins to turn around its axis, wrapped by the snake. The rotation of two giant reptiles in the sea creates a huge funnel in the water. Whole schools of fish swimming around get trapped in there. The Titanoboa becomes dizzy from this merry-go-round. It loses concentration and opens its jaws. The lizard uses all its strength to break free, and the snake swims away from it. Now the dinosaur is chasing its opponent. The Titanoboa emerges from the water, not far from the shore. Helicopters fly around the island, recording the events. Yachts and small fishing boats sail to the site of the Battle of the Titans. The Titanoboa crawls out of the water and is about to disappear into the jungle, but the Mosasaurus grabs it at the last moment. There are two rows of teeth in its upper jaw. One of them is located closer to the pharynx. This row allows the dinosaur to hold its prey while the prey resists. The duel continues on land. The trees around the two monsters shatter into splinters. The Titanoboa wraps itself around the enemy, opens its huge mouth, grabs the dinosaur's tail, and begins to slowly swallow it. The Mosasaurus realizes the great snake's strategy and begins to thrash around. The snake blocks its movements, so the dino digs into the sandy beach. After a short while, a large pit appears beneath the monsters. The sand gets into the snake's eyes, and it lets go of the opponent. The Mosasaurus is again slowly crawling towards the water, and the Titanoboa is in no hurry to catch it. You can see the reptiles are tired. The Mosasaurus swims away from the shore and stares at the snake. From the shore, it looks like an enormous log. Two eyes the size of a football gaze intently at the snake. The Titanoboa lies in the sand and breathes heavily. Then, it stretches to its full length and looks back at the Mosasaurus. The snake's long body slowly bends, its muscles tense. The reptile is preparing to lunge. The dinosaur is slowly heading toward the shore. It growls and paddles with its flippers. Like a seal, it squelches through the shallow water towards the Titanoboa. The snake uncoils like a spring towards the enemy. At great speed, two predators collide with their heads. The hit is so strong, they lose their bearings and move away from each other. Now, each of them feels like a loser. The dinosaur slowly paddles into the water, and the snake returns to the jungle. The monsters are tired of fighting. There's no winner. You and the rest of the people stand with your mouths open in complete silence. You look around the island and notice trees with broken branches everywhere. In the depths of the island, you find a waterfall and huge wet stones. There are large scratches on many of them. Somehow, millions of years ago, lots of ancient reptiles managed to survive global disasters on this island. And now, there are only two left. You conclude that the Mosasaurus and the Titanoboa have been fighting each other for years. Soon, these reptiles will gain strength again and continue their eternal struggle. You decide to leave the island before that happens. <laughs>